from Scotland Yard. It's quite uh, good news for you, isn't it? They've uh, dropped the case against you. Have you seen this? Oh, right, yeah. Basically, I've forgotten all about it. You've forgotten all about it? What's your reaction? Well, I think it was a waste of police time and uh, rather but, unfortunate. But they but, do uh, say, don't they, that uh, the selling of the software may constitute an offence of fraud. Well, uh, it's an all very old thing, and I think that uh, the MP who uh, wasted the police time may have something to... But they say the selling of the software may constitute an offence of fraud. Well, they, if you read the letter, it says there's absolutely nothing here of any interest. Um, I, sorry, no, Mike, it, I thought you were here today about the it, 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 uh, it, uh, Afghanistan. It is of interest if a cabinet minister might have been involved in an offence of fraud. I think the, the, um, the letter makes it perfectly clear that uh, there's absolutely nothing here. And well, I, it doesn't make I think it clear, the, it says the lawyers said, they, the, it may constitute an offence of fraud. Uh, I think that the MP who wasted police time, and uh, it seems like it's been a year or something, um, uh, really has questions to answer as to why they were wasting police time. It's not just the software, is it? It's the, it's the testimonials on your website, Corrine Stock Heath. And the man from Tetriox, New York. Well, as we as a, a, and you know these people didn't appear to exist. Well, a, as we've already established, because the ASA looked into it, there was really nothing. But they, uh, the ASA didn't look into your testimonials. Oh, Corrine well, Stockheath, does well, she still well, exist? Well, they spent they spent uh, about uh, forty eight hours before they dismissed the whole thing. We spent them, sent them thirty. So does Corrine Stockheath 30. still exist? I asked you this last year. You said she did then. But have you managed to find her yet? I, Michael, I, this is I know this is kind of all of great interest to you. But the truth of the matter is that this is uh, all from. The, the, the testimonials and all this were from like 10, 15 years ago. I'm afraid no, I can't really help. No, it's not 10 or 15. It's much more recent than that. 2002? Like, it, no, like that 2000 and 2002 is 11 years ago. The, uh, the, the, the software we're talking about here is only a few years well, ago. The, the, this, is, this, is, this is software from a company which I didn't even own at the time. And well, hang on a moment. Your wife yeah. owned it and ran it from your home. Right. Uh, right. And this you're is, not telling this, me you didn't know no, about this it. This is a politically motivated load of nonsense. And um, as the police yeah, are This is serious it. stuff here because the, the suggestion is that this, this software was involved in a form of plagiarism. Of take, I mean, how did it work? Can you tell us how it worked? I, I can't because I wasn't involved at the time. So you, weren't, you didn't know I'm anything about that, it? I think I probably are you, wouldn't, are you willing I to do, do a proper no. interview about this? But, I mean, you, you, earlier in the week, you asked for the BBC to be transparent in its affairs. Why, are you willing to sit down and be, do an interview with, you, with us about this? I, I and think be I'm, transparent about your I, business affairs? I've given you absolutely everything I can give you on the subject. The, uh, this no, you haven't. You haven't told us who Curry and Stock Heath is or any of the testimonials. You haven't told us how this software uh, works. As you I haven't told us what your role in the business was with regard to this software. After all, it was promoted by Michael Green, who is none other yeah. than Grant Schultz. Well, I think we... Uh, the, the reason we know that, Michael, let's just be absolutely clear. The reason we know that is because I was always completely open about the fact that I wrote, using a pen name, Michael Green, which I wrote on the actual web page was, uh, was me writing under the pen name. Now, lots of people write under pen names. I did it because I was producing a series of business publications that I didn't want to uh, publish under my own name because prior to going into politics, I knew that one day I might go into politics and I wanted to make sure that I could keep the two separate. And Michael, very, Green, very separate Michael Green promoted Traffic Paymaster. Uh, and that is the software that the, the no, Scotland Yard lawyers say may have no, constituted an offence of no, fraud. No, that's wrong. Your, your timings are, are, are all out. And, right. Uh, uh, that, that's, not, that's not true. Well, simply because Michael Green, uh, when I resigned from the company, uh, I no longer wrote under the name, which, by the way, was always But they a carried on name. using the name Michael Green. Uh, uh, no, I don't think it was promoted under Michael Green at all. You don't uh, think they're, they're so, so you do know no. something about it then? <laughs> well, I mean, you're, you're asking about timings, and I can tell you that I wasn't involved at, at that stage.